Anatomy of the Kidney Introduction Kidneys are major excretory organs which lie on posterior abdominal wall, one on each side of the vertebral column behind the peritoneum. Location Kidneys extend from upper border of T12 vertebrae to center of body of L3 vertebrae. Right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney due to the presence of liver. Upper ends or poles of two kidneys are nearer to each other than lower poles, as long axes are slightly oblique, being directed downward and laterally. Upper poles are 2.5 cm away from the midline. Hilum is 5 cm away from midline, and lower poles are 7.5 cm away from the midline. Transpyloric plane passes through upper part of hilum of right kidney and through lower part of hilum of left kidney. Shape is bean shape. Measurements. Length is 11 cm. Width is 6 cm. Thickness, 3 cm. Weight, 150 grams in males and 135 grams in females. External features. Each kidney has two poles, superior and inferior, two surfaces, anterior and posterior, two borders, medial and lateral, and a hilum. Poles. Superior pole is thick, round, and closer to the median plane and is related to the suprarenal gland. Inferior pole is thin, pointed, lies 2.5 cm above the iliac crest. Coming to the surfaces. Anterior surface is convex and faces anterolaterally. Posterior surface is flat and faces posterior medially. It is difficult to recognize anterior and posterior surfaces. Borders. Lateral border is convex. Medial border is convex above and below near the poles and concave in the middle and slopes downward and laterally with vertical fissure in the middle part known as the hilum. Hilum. It is the medial border or the central part of the kidney with deep vertical slit. It transmits the following structures from anterior to posterior. Renal vein, renal artery, renal pelvis, subsidiary branch of renal artery. In addition to the above, hilum also transmits lymphatics and nerves. Sympathetic. Relations of kidney. Anterior relations. Anterior relations of two kidneys are different. Anterior relation of the right kidney are as follows. Right suprarenal gland. Right lobe of liver. Second part of duodenum. Hepatic flexure of colon. Jejunum. Liver and jejunum are separated from kidney by peritoneum. Anterior relations of left kidney, left suprarenal gland, spleen, stomach, pancreas, splenic vessels, splenic flexure of colon, jejunum, stomach, spleen, jejunum is separated from kidney by peritoneum. Posterior relations. Posterior relations of two kidneys are the same, except in relation to ribs, it is different. Four muscles, which include the diaphragm, quadratus lumborum, psoas major, and transversus abdominis. Three nerves, subcoastal, T12, iliohypogastric, L1, ilioinguinal, L1. Ribs. Right kidney is related to 12th rib, whereas left kidney is related to the 11th and 12th ribs. Capsules of kidney. From inside to outwards, the kidney is surrounded by four capsules or coverings. Fibrous capsule 
which is the true capsule, perirenal or perinephric fat, renal fascia, pararenal or paranephric fat. Fibrous capsule. It is also known as the true capsule. It is formed by condensation of fibrous stroma in the peripheral part of kidney. It is a thin membrane which closely covers the entire kidney. It then passes through the hilum and lines renal sinus and is continuous with a wall of calluses. It can be easily stripped off from surface of normal kidney, but if kidney is inflamed, it cannot be stripped off as it is firmly attached to the kidney. Perirenal or perinephric fat. It is a layer of adipose tissue between fibrous capsule and renal fascia. It is thickest at the borders of kidney and is prolonged through hilum and fills up the extra space in the renal sinus. In chronic debilitating diseases, kinking of ureter is seen due to depletion of perinephric fat, which causes downward displacement of kidney and compresses the ureter. Renal fascia. It is also known as false capsule or fascia of garota. It is a fibroareolar sheath surrounding kidney and perirenal fat. It has two layers, fascia of tault, ill-defined anterior layer, fascia of zucker candle, well-defined posterior layer. Superiorly, two layers fuse at the upper end of kidney and re-split to enclose suprarenal gland in separate compartment and then fuse with each other and continue with diaphragmatic fascia. Inferiorly, two layers remain separate and enclose ureter. Anterior layer is gradually lost in extraperitoneal tissue of iliac fossa, while posterior layer merges with fascia iliaca. Laterally, two layers unite firmly and become continuous with fascia transversalis. Medially, anterior layer passes in front of kidney and renal vessels and blends with connective tissue surrounding the aorta. Posterior layer runs behind the kidney and is attached to psoas fascia and quadratus lumborum fascia. Pararenal or paranephric fat. It lies between renal fascia and anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia and contains fat with more abundant posteriorly and towards the lower pole of kidney. It acts like a cushion for the kidney. Macroscopic structure. Kidney contains outer cortex and inner medulla. Cortex. It is located below renal capsule and is granular in appearance. It is divided into renal columns and cortical arches. Cortical arches extend as caps between bases of the pyramids and surface of kidney. Renal columns extend to renal sinus between adjacent pyramids. Medulla. It contains 5 to 11 striated, dark, and conical masses known as renal pyramids. Each pyramid has a base directed to cortex, an apex which projects into minor calluses as renal papilla. Each pyramid, along with overlying cortical arch, forms lobe of kidney. Renal sinus. It is a cavity within the kidney and communicates outside the medial border through hilum. It contains renal vessels, lymphatics, and nerves. Perinephric fat, renal pelvis, major and minor calluses. Renal pelvis within the sinus is divided into two or three large branches known as major calluses, which further divides to form 5 to 11 shorter branches known as minor calluses. Minor calluses have cup-shaped depression at outer ends to receive renal papillae. Microscopic structure. Each kidney consists of 1 to 3 million uriniferous tubules. The functional unit of the kidney is the nephron. Each kidney contains approximately 1 million nephrons each with a renal corpuscule and a renal tubule. 
The renal corpuscule is composed of a tuft of capillaries called a glomerulus surrounded by the Bowman's capsule. The renal tubule is divided into several segments in the following order, from proximal to distal. Proximal convoluted tubule, proximal straight tubule, thin descending limb of loop of Henle, thin ascending limb of loop of Henle, thick ascending limb of the loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, cortical collecting duct, medullary collecting duct. There are two types of nephrons, cortical and juxtamedullary. Cortical nephrons, approximately 85%, are located close to the outer part of the renal cortex. Short loop of Henle, mainly regulatory and excretory functions. Juxtamedullary nephrons, approximately 15%. Glomerulus near the junction of the renal cortex and medulla. Long loop of Henle. Major function is concentration or dilution of urine. Points to ponder are as follows. Renal blood flow is normally about 25% of cardiac output. Renal cortex receives about 90-95% to of total renal blood flow. The renal medulla receives 5 to 10 percent of the total renal blood flow. Arterial supply. Arterial supply to kidney is from renal artery. Renal arteries arise as direct branches of abdominal aorta between L1 and L2 vertebra, just below the origin of superior mesenteric artery. Accessory renal arteries are present in 30 percent of individuals. They also branch laterally from the aorta and enter at the hilum. The renal arteries gives off branches to the adrenal gland, inferior suprarenal artery, and ureter. Left renal artery runs behind the left renal vein, whereas the right renal artery runs behind inferior vena cava and right renal vein. Each renal artery divides into anterior and posterior divisions at or near the hilum of kidney. Anterior division supplies apical, upper, middle, and lower segments, and posterior division supplies posterior segment via segmental arteries. Each segmental artery divides into lobar branches after supplying renal sinus. Lobar arteries further divide into two or three interlobar arteries which pass between pyramids. Each interlobar artery divides dichotomously into arcuate artery as they reach the base of associated pyramid and run parallel to the surface of kidney between pyramids and overlying cortex. Each arcuate artery gives many interlobular arteries which pass radially toward the surface of kidney. Interlobular arteries give efferent arterioles, which pass to the capillaries of glomeruli and then reunite to form efferent arteriole. Efferent arterioles divide to form peritubular capillary plexus around convoluted tubules. Renal blood flow. Renal artery. Anterior and posterior branches. Segmental arteries, lobar arteries, interlobar arteries, two arcuate arteries, interlobular arteries, efferent arteriole, glomerulus, efferent arteriole, vasa recta to the venous system. Coming to the venous drainage. Venous blood from kidney is drained by renal veins. A single vein exits each kidney at the hilum anterior to the renal artery and drains into the inferior vena cava. The left renal vein is longer than the right because it runs longer course to the inferior vena cava, which is situated on the right side of the body. Left renal vein crosses the midline between the aorta 
and the superior mesenteric artery. Left suprarenal and gonadal veins drain into the left renal vein, whereas on the right they drain into the vena cava. Lymphatic drainage. Lymphatics from kidney drain into paraaortic lymph nodes at the level of the origin of renal arteries. Nerve supply. Nerve supply to kidney is from renal plexus, which contains both sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers. Renal plexus reach kidney along renal artery. Sympathetic fibers are derived from T10 to L1 spinal segments, and parasympathetic fibers are derived from the vagus nerves.